They'll reset. Gert running the baseline now. And again, Blommel and Thompson down on the block. Now Gert has it, fires a pass down to Thompson. Turnaround jump shot is up and in. Nice little hook shot that time by Jordan Thompson. Got no good, an air ball comes down to Justine Reverman. Here comes Melrose, down by one. Reverman dribbles hard down to Cheetah. Outside shot is up and good. Melrose regains the lead on the basket by Emily Cheetah. Back to Melrose now. Now trailing by one. On the outside, Reverman waits for the screen. She won't use it, dribbles down to the baseline. Passes in the lane to Blommel, trying to make her move. Passes back out though. Montevideo now defensively in the zone, but now Reverman goes up inside. She turns around and she scores. The lead goes back to Montevideo now. Gerda's open, doesn't shoot it this time, skips the pass to Sawyer. She will put it up, and it's going to be good. The lead goes back to Melrose on the basket by Gabby Sawyer. Now they have their biggest lead at 37-30. to 30. Olsen with 15 points to lead the Montevideo scoring. She had six in the first half. We're on the pick and roll. Cheetah will take it all the way down. Still dribbling, getting to the basket and lays it up and in. Nifty little move by Emily Cheetah. Melrose ball with three and a half to go. Van Heel is out on top now. To Sawyer, left side. Melrose trailing by four. Sawyer's going to go to the basket, lays it up and in, and she is fouled on the play. Gabby Sawyer saw the opening that time. She took it, put it in, and she was fouled as well. And her wing pass was knocked away, but it came back to Van Heel. She recovers. Back to Reverman. No shot. Melrose down by two with two and a half to go. And Gabby Sawyer will slow things up and set up the offense again. Waiting for the pick and roll here. Around the screen set by Gert. No, Sawyer's going to go to the basket, and she scores. Tie game. Melrose trying to push it up ahead with under two minutes to go. Tie game at 42. Sawyer out on top. Melrose has three timeouts remaining. Here's a pass down to Gert on the block. Goes up strong, and it goes in. Somehow, Emily Gert scored, and Melrose leads. Melrose will pass in off to her left in front of their bench. Tie game at 44, so a big possession here. Gabby Sawyer will trigger in, and it's a man-to-man -man defense for him on a video. The pass will come in to Cheetah near half court. Gert has it now right away. So Emily Gert way outside. Erickson tight with the defense. Stopping her dribble, looking to pass. Sawyer goes in the lane, left hand layup is up and in! Gabby Sawyer will give Melrose the lead. So Emily Cheetah will go to the free throw line. She has not shot a free throw tonight. She has four points on two baskets. And she's got the basketball, she's shooting two. Her free throw is right through. Big free throw for Emily Cheetah. No pressure there for the senior. Melrose by three with another free throw for Emily Cheetah. Second one is up and good again. No rim on either shot right through the middle. Timeout call. So Emily Cheetah has scored to give Melrose a four-point lead now at 48 to 44. So pass in for Montevideo, but Melrose just has to just watch him shoot. Two seconds left. Erickson at half court will take a half court runner, and it's going to be off the rim. No good. The game is over, and it's been won by the Melrose Lady Dutchman. Winning at home on a Friday night, the final score, 48-44 over Montevideo.